It also includes $2.8 billion in state-funded projects. One billion of that is the SPP account, which is the account that we try to keep very slightly over-programmed. It also includes $216 million in projects previously authorized by state bonds, including the BRAC projects that were primarily directed at the Fort Knox area. It includes two point, almost $2.3 billion in federally funded projects that cover bridge replacement, interstate maintenance, metro area improvements, the Appalachian Development Plan, plan for highways, and other safety and congestion mitigation uh, issues. Major projects that are included in this is the Louisville Bridges. It includes $80 million for the Louisville Bridges and concurs with the adjustments made by the House and submitted to the Transportation Cabinet to reduce state funding by $50 million in federal funding uh, back to 25. It includes, we keep the House plan for the Mountain Parkway, which includes $123 million, and we concur with the House on that. It includes money for the I-65 widening, and we all remember the tragic death a few years ago of uh, that family on I-65 that has uh, once again in, in given us a reason why we need to complete six-laning I-65 all the way to the Tennessee line. It includes money for the Western Kentucky Bridges, includes $165 million previous authorized for Garvey bonds. It keeps the process moving with the Brent Spence Bridge in Northern Kentucky. It includes $6.5 million in previously authorized state bonds and $53 million in, in federal funding, including $22 million in earmarked funds. And it removes $478 million in tolls included in the governor's recommended plan for the biennium. In the I-69 corridor, it includes $129 million for that. 